First, it's important to remember that there are lots of different kinds of kids in school. And in order to get along with all of these different kids, it's important to remember that school is for everybody, not just you. No one can be the center of attention all of the time. No one gets to go first all of the time because it just wouldn't be fair. Now, would it? It's also important to remember that school stuff belongs to everybody. And it's your job to take care of these things so that other kids can use them and enjoy them after you. It's one way we can cooperate with our classmates. It's also important to cooperate with the other kids in school to get work done quickly and without a lot of bother. When folks cooperate, they work together as a team, sharing the work. We can also cooperate to make school a better place to learn. We can help each other to learn. We can help each other keep school neat, clean, safe, and a fun place to be. We can all cooperate in many ways, but when disagreements do come up, we can look for ways to compromise with our friends so the disagreements end without a lot of fussing and feuding. We can give a little, and our friends can give a little. We can share sometimes, go second sometimes, let the other guy have his or her way sometimes. These are ways we can compromise and get along better with others in school. So remember, you can make your school a better, more enjoyable place to learn by cooperating and learning to compromise with the other kids in your class. After all, these kids are not only your classmates, they're also your friends. Okay, let's think about getting along with our classmates for just one more moment. Sometimes we just want things to go our way. We want to be first or we want to shout out all the answers. Is that fair to the other kids in class? Why or why not? Next, what is cooperation? Why is cooperation so important in school? How can you better cooperate with the kids in your class? Explain your answers. And finally, Let's say you want to jump rope at recess, but your best friend wants to play kickball. You could fuss and fight over the disagreement, or you could find a compromise. What might be a good compromise in this case? Think about these questions and discuss your answers with your teacher.